all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Space Engineers Industrial Overhaul, and it is day 34 here on the Frozen Rock. Alright, so, the last episode, we completed the... What did we complete? Oh, we completed all of the base defenses. You can see them off in the distance, and they're scattered around pretty good. So, today, oh, we also put those two moisture evaporators in. So today, I want to start working on my coal uh, power plant. So you can see the uh, coal fields is 915 meters away, just almost right at a kilometer. And my plan is to build the structure out there put in the steam and the coal-fired plant uh, and build a, a drilling and a storage container and then have the power produced there and tie it into the grid with the power pole tethers. So I think that will do uh, a pretty good job and I'm planning on putting two coal plants in and two so it needs two steam turbines and a large, uh, large uh, storage container. One of these guys, and they'll be on the platform out there. So now, uh, what I want to do is kind of run over here first. So let's get over to the coal fields. And I think, well, let's start from here. So I think it'll be fairly easy to run uh, power lines from here over to the coal plant. It'll only take a couple of, probably maybe four or five posts to put it into place. But I'm thinking that I build some sort of platform and then drill down and kind of hollow out the bottom so I can put in a drilling complex in the cavern down below. Now I might have to set up a drill to drill down to clear that out to run my uh, tubes up. So it'll be kind of something like what the uh, bauxite mine setup looked like but not quite as elaborate I don't think I need to go quite that much with it so we'll get over here and kind of see what this area looks like uh, almost there so this looks fairly flat out here so if we used to pull the drill out uh, we got ice right here we should be picking up the coal pretty soon, I would think. Ice, ice, coal. Oh, there we go. 48 meters down. So we, we're right on the edge of the field. And I can see... So actually, right about here, I can see coal uh, right here. This is one big field. You can kind of see the color difference here. So I'm thinking some sort of platform and we can drill down to the cavern down below into the coal fields and use a drill setup. It's not going to take that much, I don't think. Uh, and we can always kind of update that, but I, I think that's what I want to do. So uh, once I uh, uh, get back over to the base, I'm going to have to start loading up supplies. And so I'm going to use the, uh, the buggy uh, for that, uh, or the cargo truck. I can load up supplies in it, drive over here with it, and then start building and constructing. So... I think what I will do is uh, head back over and start kind of figuring out what materials I'm going to need and then uh, come over here and start uh, building. So once I am back over here ready to start building, 
I'll catch back up with you all. All right, I am back and I've got quite a few materials loaded up into the uh, cargo truck and so let's grab some of that. I think I'm going to start with uh, girders so that I can start laying out my platform up above and we'll kind of get that wire framed out. I'm thinking uh, somewhere <clears throat> maybe right about here. So let's just start putting some blocks down. And yeah, we're not gonna do that color. There we go. <clears throat> and so let's just throw a block here. And just start building this out a little bit. I'm not sure how big a platform I'm going to need. But let's get uh, Let's just start with something like this. And... Let's see... Okay, now I'm going to have to have, uh, or I'm going to want two coal boilers and two steam. So let's do this. Let's get over to this one here. Let's go G. Uh, that's geothermal. Where are you at? Where are you at? There you go. Coal boiler. So if we drop this, let's just drop this down right there. And this will give us an idea how big this thing is. It's fairly big. Uh, I guess the coal comes in from this end. And then the steam is produced out from that end. Let's uh, pull down one of these steam turbines. Probably going to need both. And so that... Okay. So we've got that set up right here. That would look something about... If we turn that around and we would put, well, I can see now that my floor is not big enough yet, but if we put that something about like that, then the steam turbines or the boilers would then connect into that. So maybe we want facing something like that. So we have one that way, and then we've got a mirror. Which then we can have them side by side like that. All right, let me do a little more building. I'm gonna, I, that platform is going to need to be bigger. <clears throat> let me do some building. I want to get the uh, cement blocks built, and then we can start laying some wireframes down for the coal plants. So I'll be back in a little bit after I got a little bit farther along. All right, just a little bit of an update. Uh, I did get quite a bit of that uh, platform built, but I still need a lot more concrete blocks and girders for over there. I also thought about, uh, I was gonna put, just to throw up a small windmill for some power over there, but I got to thinking, I've gotta run power lines anyway, so why not go ahead and build my power lines in over to that base that way I have power over there to start with. 
and then once I get everything up and running then that will reverse power back into the the grid back into the system so I'm gonna start building uh, right from here I think what I, I can't run a connection from there but what I can do I should have grabbed the materials but what I can do is throw another throw a block in here and of course I used round blocks uh, but I'm gonna I can just throw a block a square block right here attached to that uh, I don't have anything on me so let me go get the materials for a block and then I'm gonna put up one of those uh, power pillars what are these Python pylon and then uh, I'll start building that out from there towards the base so I figure it's going to probably take about 10 so let's do this let's uh, I need to grab well let's grab it over here no reason to take it out of there all right one two three four you can't. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. All right, that's that's some blocks to get built with. Now let's go. Let's uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's enough. Plus, I've got stuff over into the cargo truck. So let's move over to that uh, first pillar. And we will go ahead and start uh, laying this out and see how that looks. All right. Let's uh, unpark this. And this is what I had in mind for this this cargo truck all along not only for hauling ores and whatnot but hauling materials Ooh. Well, let's pay attention to what I'm doing here otherwise I'll be dealing with it alright so I think I'm gonna put a pillar into here and let's stop this about right here. All right, let's hop out. And I'm just going to throw a square block. It should link up to that. I hope it does anyway. Let's go six. And we might as well use yellow for this stuff. Okay, cool. That's going to connect right there all right let's go ahead and build that and let me run over here real quick and take a look because I think I want to put these in and those require two all right two blocks just to make for sure all right so let's see if we can get this next pylon on And I should do that right there. All right. Okay, that's built. All right, so that's connected into the base via that, because that's all connected in via that right there. Uh... Although, you know, I bet I could have connected. I bet I could have connected that. We'll try it. And if we can, then I'm going to take that out. All right, so our next one is going to... I don't like to get them too far apart. 
come up here a little bit. I think we will maybe about right here. All right. And I guess I was making red for the base, so let's go ahead and put uh, change that color back to red. And then we'll put a couple of blocks in right here. Right about there. And there. Let's go ahead and build these out. All right. Now we'll go back to yellow for the pillar. Uh, let's go nine. Uh, which way is which? I think that's the way I want it. Let's put that right there like that. Alright, that's connected. Alright, let's see if we can do... connect this up. Oh, I did not want... no. I want to place the cable. And we want to place it over here. If I can get up there high enough. Okay. And that's connected in. All right, so we can take that other one out. All right, that's cool. All right, let's get this out. Uh, if I can. Okay. All right, that's going to be our power line. All right, as I get that further out, I will uh, give you a progress report. Actually, once I get back over to the coal mine, where it's going to be, and I have these in place, I'll catch back up with you. But that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm doing here. So I'll be back in a little bit. I am back as you can see the Sun has come up and I did get the uh, power lines all f in and I also have well we're gonna grab that unknown signals that's coming down uh, it's not gonna be too far away actually uh, and I've got uh, this all loaded up so let's swing by Grab that unknown signal, and I'll show you the power line that's in place. All right, let's unlock this. See if we can get turned around here. This doesn't turn very well. It certainly doesn't turn on a dime, that's for darn sure. Yeah, you run into things like that. All right, let's do it like this. Let's back up a little bit. Now let's go forward. Let's see if we can get turned here. All right, there we go. All right, let's hit that unknown. It's not too, too far away. And then we'll uh, swing back, and then I'll show you the power lines. Actually got a little bit more done out there, and I've got this cargo hauler filled up. Well, not quite all the way filled up with supplies for over there. 
Uh, and so we can start kind of getting the layout. I'm trying to get the floor done. Uh, once I get that floor done, then I can pretty much lay out uh, the two steam powered, or actually the two steam, uh, what the hell are they? The, the steam turbines, and then uh, I can get the two coal boilers in place. So let's see, what do we got here? Uh, is that a flying one? Yeah, it might be a flying one. Let's see if we can get this, get it without it flying away too. So the trick is to run up there real quick. Is that it on this side right here? I think that's it right there. All right. Got it. All right. Nope. Turns out it wasn't one of the flying ones, though. But that's how you do it. If you run up there real quick and hit the uh, switch and turn it off, then that turns everything off. So let me get this ground down. Oh, let's get... One of the reasons I'm doing this is to get this stuff for farming. So... You know, we get a few other things too, but that fertilizer and stuff I'm going to need because I want to start doing some more farming, kind of try to produce some stuff. Uh, but I can't produce fertilizer because I don't have all the materials here on, gr on the ground, I think. I think I've got to get the space to finish getting the rest of the stuff that I need. So, but that's for another day. All right. All right, there's all of that. Again, I'm only grabbing these ones that are fairly close, so I'm not going too far out of my way. Let's get turned around here. So that's a transport over there. I noticed something here. This uh, Monarch transport. And I did a little kind of surveillance on it. And it appears to be stuck. It is stuck on a mountainside, I think. So I'm leaving it out there. And uh, going to see. Maybe at some point it'll be fun to try to go and investigate that, see if we can't salvage it or do something with it anyway. Alright, so let's see, where are we at here? Alright, there's, there's our power line coming out. You can see that that is all hooked in. Alright, we come up through here. And I've run it from here over over to the top of this little hill. And along to here. Here. And then we're almost to the base. And we actually have power over here now. It is it is connected in because I built a small and you'll see it right here. Alright, here we are at the base. Alright, let's get this thing stopped. I built a small cargo box and if we open this up you can see that uh, it's all connected into the system all right and I want to well I'm gonna have to take that scrap and that stuff out but let's unload that that's all scrap so here's what I got going 
I've got the platform that I'm working on and it's going to have two steam turbines uh, mounted right here and right here facing each other so that uh, the coal boilers which will be facing this away will tie into the steam turbines on each side and then that will be my coal and then I'll have a large storage container on this side that will feed into the two uh, boilers all right so that's that that's where I'm at all right I tell you what let me well you know what this is getting to be a pretty good place to quit actually uh, I know the videos are a little bit shorter now uh, I'm running them about a half hour trying to keep them to about a half hour uh, so I can kind of get ahead of things here I think I mentioned in the last one that I'm going to be going on an extended vacation so I'm trying to get all my videos done ahead of time so by the time you're watching this I'm going to be out enjoying myself in the wilds of Alaska as I do every year so anyway uh, yeah, that's it. I will. So next next episode, we are going to finish getting the platform done, getting the two steam uh, turbines in place, and getting the two boilers in place, and then getting the large cargo bay in place, and then that'll probably about take care of that episode. And in the following episode after that, we're going to go underground. We're going to start drilling, and we'll have to put that contraption in. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up. It helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. And so all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And with that... Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.